Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. Today I am bringing you shopping with me to Ikea. I am meeting my mum, so she's on her way now. And we are gonna go have a look at the Ikea at Burstall Leeds Shopping Park. Burstall Shopping Park in Leeds. And um, yeah, we love it here. So we come here every so often to meet up and it's kind of like our halfway pit stop. So we're gonna meet up, have a look around Ikea. I have a few things on my wish list, so we'll see what we find and I'll bring you along with me. I believe this pegboard system is fairly new to IKEA, so it's good if you've got like a home office or you want to like hang up, you can customise it to however you want it basically. I also love this lampshade, this is the Industrial Natural Beige. I'll try and darken it so you can see what it looks like. How pretty is that? You could use those as like a plant stand as well, couldn't you? Ooh, ooh. Well, I was thinking, you know where we've got the white set? I've never seen this before. This is looks oh, fun. Oh, how much is it? Seventy-five. This would be too small for our bedroom one. Oh. <laughs> I like this rug as well. I always spot it whenever I come in. Last chance. This is like very me, indoor greenery kind of style. And also these prints are good. you're interested this is the color we've gone for with the boxes in our bedroom in this square ikea unit it's like a beige color i really like that one i've seen a hack before where you can get this table which i love in itself but instead of attaching the legs you can flip it that way and use it as a headboard nice little diy hack idea for you there it's the stockholm range i love these chairs Without the cushion though, I suppose with or without. 90, I think they do one for about 110, which I prefer. Here's another version of like the woven chairs. This one's only 39, which isn't too bad. handy to have it again if you've got like an office space just to pop your laptop or tablet on or book could use that in your kitchen for like a I'll have you um a what am I trying to say recipe book you could definitely use some kind of a hack with this pot stand it's like a heat deterrent for your kitchen but maybe just use it as like a cork board with photos, Polaroids. We have a bathroom trolley in our bathroom and this one's very similar. Very handy. Highly recommend. An alternative to makeup storage maybe. have a full spare room makeover tour but this is what I was talking about when if we were staying long term I'd probably do more of a day bed like this in that room rather than a double bed what do you think 
the dream one day. This is another little hack that I've seen. This cushion here, if you soak it in diluted bleach water, the black turns coral. So if you've got like a corally nude kind of theme in your house, then you've got to leave it soaking for about an hour and it removes all the black. I actually like that under bed storage as well. I nearly get these every time I come in. Could use it as like a tray on your sofa with like some candles and plants on or as a wall display with little Polaroid pictures. It's like a spa in here. I love like the minimal design of that. This is an old DIY hack I've featured where you can use these bath towels, put two of the same colour together, sew them up, fill them with like old cushions or whatever and have a big cushion and they're only £2.25. These are salad bowls, but you could easily use them as a decorative bowl with plants in, rather than specifically just for salad. probably not but look wise they are quite nice Aesthetically pleasing. maybe for like a display you know if you've got one rack out with white dresses on or just in your entrance for your coat yeah nice I'm gonna buy this ironing board cover because it bugs me it's only four pounds but our ironing board has a really ugly kind of pattern and we have it out all the time so I'm gonna buy this cover to just cover it up yeah. Oh, no, these are good at just 95p each and then these lampshades I really like this whole area here this is like a natural wood material it's quite nice display I like that enjoy and it already comes with all the prints in we took the photo frames and the river set are actually really affordable and they've got all the different sizes. I would recommend these over the Decenio ones that I've got. Decenio prints, but river frames. That's what my mum's just buying now for like a gallery wall. This is new. I've never seen this um, glittery. Oh yeah, it's new. <laughs> glittery before, and I really like the design. The cream and the golds work really well together. I personally think so you can buy a set here for seventeen pounds, and then they've got this candlestick holder here. This one. I see autumn. Autumn vibes same range glittering have these little pots as well set of three for 14 pounds which comes like that this is my favorite plant pot that ikea do it's really affordable as well i think they're three pounds these yeah they are
through here you might as well go to TK Maxx and Home Sense because they have such a wide range of like storage baskets this size that are probably cheaper than that. Same with these. We always end our IKEA visit with a trip to the bargain corner. Not that I'd get it, but I've seen this coffee table so many times. But if you're keen for it, then you can pick it up here for a bargain. These are usually like X display items or slightly faulty. It's not a big enough bargain for me, that one. I like the colour of these cushions, but again, from 12 down to 960. You're not saving that much, although this one's eight pound. Hmm. We've got one of these wicker baskets from 12 down to 9.50. I think that's because that's coming loose a little bit, so. Always a temptation when leaving. Are uh, these mini dimes, yum. Right, back to school. Carrot and orange cake, blueberry cheesecake. I love that one, the apple pie. And then this is my fave, dime cake. The meatballs with the mash. Thank you. This is the fun part, although I have an empty boot and only a few things. So there you have it guys, thank you for watching this video and coming shopping with me to Ikea. I hope you found some inspiration to see what was new in store. I ended up just picking up a couple of towels, a couple of plants myself, nothing too big. Um, although I do have my eyes on a few new things to potentially go back for. So thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll leave all the links to my social media channels down below if you want to come over and follow me on there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!